Hi, how are you today? Today I am going to be making a resin piece using this butterfly mold that I purchased from Michaels. I'll also be using this green glitter. It is called Spring Green. It's the spinet glitter that you can purchase at Michaels for their um, spinet products. I just happen to think that it's a gorgeous bright cherry green and I think it will look really nice in this butterfly. I made quite a bit of resin um, <laughs> with this glitter so I actually end up overusing it um, but that's okay. Sparkles and pretty green it's all good. So I'm just outlining the butterfly with the glitter and then I'm going to go in with a couple different shades of mica this one is a Just Paint Mica called Key Lime. A beautiful shiny green mica with a hint of gold in it. Really pretty. And this one is a mica that I got from Michaels from out of their scrapbooking department. They don't sell it at at the, my local store anymore. None of the colors were ever named any particular way. And it looks quite Christmas green here or tree green, but it's actually more of a more of a sea foam green, kind of a nice blue green. This is a mica from Crystal Resin called Ghost Blue. You can see that it has a little bit of iridescence to it. I think it's a interference mica. I haven't tried using it over a darker color, so I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I assume that it is. But I kind of like the looks of it, and I'm hoping that it will look nice mixed in with all of this. Other mica and glitter. So I got a little bit of mica powder on the mold when I was stirring that ghost blue, and Powdered mica goes a long way. It, if you don't stir it properly, it makes little meteors. It kind of clumps and leaves little dots of color behind. Um, I tried to wipe it off the mold. I should have done a better job at it because later on I'll show you that you can actually see <laughs> where I dropped the powder onto the mold. But I'll show, I'll point that out to you later. So just giving everything another stir. making sure that there's no little lumps or clumps that it all looks nice and smooth <clears throat> so instead of pouring everything separately from cups i'm actually going to create um, a dirty cup or a layered cup i guess with all my resin colors i haven't done this before i've seen somebody else do it I can't remember who it was, I'm sorry. Um, I was flipping through YouTube, down the YouTube rabbit hole one day and watched, oh, I don't know, a dozen videos and kind of got lost along the way and didn't really pay attention to who I was watching or what they were doing. But I saw somebody layer their cup with resin and I thought that is really cool. As an, an acrylic pourer as well, um, we know about... Uh, layering cups. So no rhyme or reason, just dumping it in, swirling it around, trying to get the colors to, you know, a little bit of cover, a little bit of each color everywhere. Now, because I'm not going to be putting a top coat on this side of the piece, I've used as much resin as I thought I needed. I think I used eight ounces. Um, so this mold is actually really, really full. So I'm trying to be very careful when I'm using my heat gun so that I'm not blowing my resin over the side of the mold. But I love the way these colors look. And I had some more green glitter left over, so I apparently didn't think that I had way too much already, so now I'm just going to add some more. So 
So if you're new to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the way that this turns out and leave a comment and let me know what you think of this butterfly. Butterflies are one of my favorite creatures. I have two butterfly tattoos. So this is the next day. The resin has done its initial cure, so it's nice and hard. I love the way the effects are on the back of this mold, um, but the front of this mold is actually, um, or the underside or whatever of the mold is actually the front of the piece. It's embossed or textured, or I don't even know how to say it, but you'll see when I flip it over that it has texture on the, on the resin piece. And that looks like air bubbles, but they're not. It's all glitter that rose to the top. Pretty colors, really happy with the colors. So here you can see how all of that glitter that I put down initially on the outside is pretty much taking over this entire piece. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's a couple of little white spots on the lower left wing part of white spots where the that ghost blue mica landed on the mold yeah just pointing them out there so in order to be able to see the texture that's a part of the mold and now is obviously a part of the resin piece i'm taking modern masters pearl acrylic paint and just taking it straight out of the jar and smearing it, pushing it into those grooves that are left behind from the mold. So this is super simple. I just sped it up really quickly because it's not difficult at all. Um, just smeared it around with a gloved hand and then I'm taking a damp paper towel and just wiping off the excess. This comes off really easy and then it the paint stays behind in the grooves so that it shows up and creates another effect. So because acrylic is water soluble, it doesn't matter if you don't get this perfectly clean and wiped off right away. You can always go back with a wet paper towel or a, um, a wet rag and just polish it off and that's what I actually ended up doing later is just going back and um, letting the paint in the grooves dry really well and then just pressing a little bit harder and polishing off polishing off the piece but there you can get a pretty good idea of how it looks with the paint embedded into the little grooves that are left behind and despite all the green glitter, I think this looks really pretty. Next time I think I'll use a different variety of colors so that there's a little bit more variation and probably a little less glitter. But here's a close up of the final piece. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Again, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, say hello. If you want to see this piece done in a specific color, let me know. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks for hanging out.